Alicia Van Veen's father, Malcolm Higgins, always made it clear he wanted to donate his organs. In July of 2010, he was in a car accident. It was about five days after his accident that my family and I learned he would never awake. He donated his two kidneys, uh, both of his lungs and his corneas. Everyone do it with me. After what some are calling the Helen Campbell effect, where the Ottawa woman recruited Justin Bieber and Ellen DeGeneres to raise awareness about organ donation, the numbers of Ontarians registering to be donors has gone up, and that's not all. We've seen the number of actual donors, deceased donors, increase from January to mid-September of 2012 by 28% compared to the same time last year. Trillium Gift of Life Network is hoping to encourage even more people to sign up. The video's message is that it takes just two minutes to register and save a life. 30% of donors are those who have experienced an intracranial or brain hemorrhage from a fall or aneurysm, for example. Other causes of death include lack of oxygen at 24%, brain trauma at 12%, stroke at 11%, and at 9% car accidents. Craig Johnston helps explain the donation process to families at Sunnybrook Health Sciences Centre. In Malcolm Higgins' case, his family knew his wishes. The decision becomes that much more difficult when families haven't had the discussion. Death and donation come hand in hand. People don't talk about death, so they don't oftentimes talk about donation. It's about um, just getting to know a little bit about their loved one, what their loved one, what we think their loved one maybe would have wanted in this situation, and, uh, and help them come to a decision that's meaningful for them. Just about anyone can be a donor. There are many misconceptions about donation. Religion, for example, is not a barrier, nor is age. The oldest organ donor in Ontario was 92, and the oldest tissue donor was 102. Mm.